Wondering what you can do to improve your egg quality? Today, we're going to go over five things you can start doing today to make sure your eggs are as healthy as possible so you can get pregnant quickly. My name is Jess. I'm a certified nurse midwife and infertility mom. And I'm currently 15 weeks pregnant after a frozen embryo transfer. We did egg retrieval this past summer and after fertilization and biopsy, we wound up with six healthy, high quality embryos to freeze for potential transfer. These are the things I did to help improve my egg quality based off of the research found in the book it starts with the egg by Rebecca Fett, which I highly recommend, and I will drop a link in the description. The research in this book is geared towards women pursuing IVF, but really it's applicable to anyone who's trying to conceive. I also followed all of these suggestions when I was trying to conceive my now three-year-old daughter, Ingrid, through IUI or intrauterine insemination. The first thing I did to help my egg quality was make sure that I was getting antioxidants in my diet every day. When damage occurs to our eggs, it occurs in the form of oxidative stress, so the best way to combat that is with antioxidants. I drink a little bit of pomegranate juice every day for the antioxidants, and it's a little bit tart, so I like to dilute it in sparkling water. I also try to make sure my diet is rich in fresh fruits and vegetables with high levels of antioxidants, like blueberries, avocados, broccoli, asparagus, and tomatoes. Next, I eliminated parabens and phthalates from my beauty supplies and bath products. Parabens and phthalates are chemicals that are associated with infertility and miscarriage, and they're usually found in fragranced products. I switched my scented lotions and soaps for unscented products like Dr. Bronner's. I also added supplements to my daily regimen to improve my egg quality. It's really easy to get overwhelmed by the number of fertility supplements that are out there, but as a healthcare provider, I want to stick to the evidence-based supplements. The three most important supplements for women who are trying to conceive are a prenatal vitamin, vitamin D, and coenzyme Q10. A prenatal vitamin is important for folic acid supplementation since folate can decrease the risk of birth defects that occur early in pregnancy before a woman may even know that she's pregnant. I also take methylfolate, which is a more easily absorbed version of folate compared to folic acid because I have a genetic mutation called MTHFR, which makes it more difficult for my body to utilize folic acid. My favorite brand is Pink Stork. It's lightly lemon flavored and it's much smaller than a prenatal vitamin pretty little. So if you're having a hard time swallowing a prenatal vitamin due to first trimester nausea, this is a lot easier to get down. I'll drop an affiliate link in the description. Vitamin D is important because women with vitamin D deficiency have higher rates of infertility and miscarriage. I live in the Pacific Northwest where none of us get enough vitamin D. I find usually when I test my patients, they either have low vitamin D or borderline low vitamin D. Coenzyme Q10 is a little bit more complicated, so bear with me while I get technical for a moment. If you remember back to your high school biology class, Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell, and it generates energy in the form of ATP. Research has shown that women over 30 have less ATP in their egg cells, which negatively impacts their egg quality. Taking coenzyme Q10 can improve energy production in our cells, including in our eggs, so I chose to take this supplement while I was undergoing IUI and also to prep for egg retrieval for IVF. I consistently see reproductive endocrinologists, so infertility doctors, recommending this supplement to their patients, regardless of what method they're using to try to conceive. You will find multiple forms of coenzyme Q10 available, but we best absorb the ubiquinol version as opposed to the ubiquinone version, so this one right here, and I will put a link to the correct version in the description. If you would like to learn more about coenzyme Q10, there's an entire chapter about it, and it starts with the egg. It's important to make sure you're getting enough healthy fats in your diet when you're trying to to conceive. You want to prioritize omega-3s, which are found in foods like avocados, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, and other seeds and nuts. Salmon also contains these fats if you eat fish. There's a great book called The Fertility Diet, which details how different fats are going to help you ovulate versus which fats are going to hinder ovulation. I recommend this book to all of my patients who are trying to conceive, but especially to women with PCOS, I'll drop a link in the description. It Starts With the Egg also covers multiple studies that show how increased omega-3 intake can improve egg quality, improve embryo quality for couples going through IVF, and just in general improve fertility for both men and women. Finally, I eliminated toxins from my kitchen by getting rid of plastic utensils and Tupperware and swapping out for silicone and glass alternatives. I also got rid of my nonstick cookware and swapped out my pots and pans for stainless steel. Unfortunately, there are egg harming chemicals in nonstick cookware that you can become exposed to if the cookware gets scratched. There are also a lot of fertility harming chemicals in hard plastics like bisphenol A that can be released when the plastic is washed with hot water or detergent. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you want more information about any of these topics, again, I highly recommend It Starts With the Egg by Rebecca Fett. I have read and reread this book so many times during our fertility journey. I make new videos every week about infertility, pregnancy, and motherhood after 35, so make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. If you have questions about egg-friendly swaps that you can make, please drop them in the comments below. If you're wondering what to do to promote sperm quality, I will link that video next. Thank you so much for watching.